Hello everyone and welcome back to another Village of Light speed build here in the Zoo Crafting server. So as you guys know, these are just our super laid back casual speed builds in which Ben and I run around and we try to get to work at building up the Village of Light with whatever creative inspiration happens to hit us this time. And this week I really wanted to focus on trying to figure out what the housing was going to be like in the Village of Light because the Village of Light is a village and it needs somewhere for all of the future NPCs and all of the future villagers to stay. So I figured if we could figure out out what materials to use and what designs to kind of go for for the housing everything else would start coming together very quickly because you guys have left so many amazing ideas for the village of light and I cannot wait to hear even more of your guys ideas and even be able to start adding in NPCs and stories places to shop things that not only like will add to the world for our sake so we can go over there and see all sorts of stories but might make it really interesting for the other zoo crafters to come over and do some trades or start building up stories of their own in the village so I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to making it feel like a whole living community like the old Village of Light used to be. So without further ado, today we're going to dive into building a house. We didn't really know what we were doing. I just kind of popped on and I stared at a cliff and I said, Ben, let's make a house. And then we looked at a bunch of Hobbit house pictures to try to draw inspiration from sod roofing and all sorts of things like that. And then, well, then, well, we found something while we were excavating and you'll see what happened.
All right, and this is the final product. I'm actually really happy with it. Oh, out of my way, grass, out of my way. <laughs> but I'm really happy with it because the Village of Light is really meant to kind of look like it grew out of a forest or the forest grew into part of the village. We're really, really trying to kind of almost make sort of a diorati, like forest spirit sort of village, but still make it look a little bit touch of rustic here and there. It's really a tricky sort of theme to go for, but I think it's definitely one we're going to have a lot of fun trying to tackle, especially because you guys contribute so many amazing ideas. Like someone, hello, little finch. Someone said maybe because it's the Village of Light and because we have all of these glow flowers that are popping up all over the place, we could have a bunch of moths show up in the Village of Light. So once we get things a little bit more settled, there will be just areas where you'll be able to find moths all of the time. We'll probably make, uh, maybe we might even grow a few more sacred saplings in the area. We might make this area feel a little bit more enclosed so that it just sort of feels like these you know, like the canopy and these white flowers are what make up the village. It's really fun. It's a work in progress. And every time we jump on and try to spend at least a little bit of time once a week to add a new location in the Village of Light, it's always an experiment. It's always a sense of discovery and figuring out what we're going to make. So I'm really happy with this house. It took forever to pick what kind of material to make it out of, but I'm really happy with the end design. And we did want to try to make it kind of like a sod roofing thing, because as you guys remember from over here, the beautiful Sakura Cafe, every building in the Village of Light is actually going to end up having a bit of green roofing. Usually it'll be about half and half. Sometimes it'll be the entire thing. Sometimes you might have buildings that are going to be like those logs from twice forest those big empty hollow logs that will actually just be a house like this might just be a very very tiny house one day in the future somebody could just be like hello hello this is their little house and you'd walk inside and it's super small and it might have like a little ladder coming up to a little green roof and just leaves and everything spilling over the sides so that's kind of what we mean as the village having grown as part of the forest or the forest growing as part of the village they're kind of the same thing and that's what the Village of Light is really going to be about. So a lot more of these kinds of like logs will be sprinkled around. You guys had some great ideas for making some fairy lights. Uh, for example, the ones from Sims 3, building those out of divincing so that they can hang down like beautiful flower orb bulbs that will light up the corners as street lamps. So those kinds of things will be showing up. The little carts, we're going to be putting like the little flower carts all over the place because flowers are sold at flower carts by adorable like little kids or just really cute flower makers. Maids, or, or what would you call like the equivalent, a boy equivalent of a flower maid? I guess they could all be flower maids. So yeah, you'll have flower maids at the corners with adorable little flower carts selling flowers. We may even have like moths. Maybe there's going to be like a little kids club and it's like the moth collecting club and they raise moths because they love moths. Also, there's a lot of finches in that tree. That's adorable. So apparently finches are a thing around here too. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with how the Village of Light is turning out because I really have no set idea in my head. We just sort of jump in and start moving with things so you can see how sometimes there'll be big logs that the houses are just sort of made out of and the houses are also part of the hills so this house is kind of like built part way into a hill and part way into a big giant like tree stump so that's what those are called, not logs, tree stumps. There we go, Siri. So that's how the Village of Light is kind of going to start looking. And here you can see like a multi-level balcony that's covered in grass so that we'll have lots of different plants. There might be a little garden, like a little personal garden that someone may tend to. There's leaves everywhere. These are the sacred oak leaves. They just look amazing. And sacred oak wood, this is sacred oak wood right here and right here. Sacred oak wood and whites and um, glowing flowers lights like that they're gonna make up a lot of the village of light and i'm just oh you guys i have this fuzzy excited feeling showing this to you because i'm so proud and so excited because it's your ideas that help the sakura cafe come to life and it's your excitement over seeing what the village becomes together you guys know i don't plan on letting go of zoo crafting for years and years and years probably as long as i do youtube and we've already been doing it two years so i'm just gonna keep going so this is our opportunity to have a stable world where everything we start building, this is the root of it. And it's just going to grow into this amazing village. And then you guys are going to start giving me ideas for the NPCs. Then we'll start having stories that they have. We might even have side series where it's just entirely role playing in these settings. We'll have more villages built. It'll be amazing. We are really, really going to bring this world to life together. And it's so exciting. Oh, I'm getting really pumped about that. All right. But more about the building details. 
So we're sticking to, we're trying to keep the materials really on a short list, like really, really very simple, not trying to like poke at too many different types of colors, not poking at too many different types of accents because we don't want to make things look cluttered. We may even come back over here and like change out these accents with, um, with the sacred oak wood, for example, just to try to tie the village together. One of the things I think a lot of people do as a building mistake, and it makes them freeze up, is trying to use like 800 different types of materials. It's best just to kind of pick the ones you want to go for, pick the color palettes you want to go for, and start making them. And then you can always go back and change the accents and edit how things look. But I really like how we've set it up. And then did you see this? So we uncovered a little lake. We didn't expect to find this. Ben was kind of clearing this area out for me, and he stumbled on this lake and he's like what should I do with it and I said make it look pretty and he's like what and so of course it being Ben he made it look amazing and he added in some graves so these gravestones will not spawn zombies you guys may have seen how we like tested out a few of the different gravestones and no matter how well you light up some of the gravestones you can get in our world they will spawn zombies these ones will not so I really liked that actually he's like maybe it's a bit morbid and he was laughing about it of course because he's, he's Ben he's awesome that way but uh, I actually thought it was very fitting because I think the village of light especially because so many of the villagers will have formerly been zombie villagers from zombie village they're used to dealing with death they understand that there is light like with light comes shadows i think they would have a very deep profound uh understanding of that oh wow it's so pretty here oh my gosh it's gorgeous but i think they would have a really deep profound understanding of that so a little gravestone is totally fine and i love it because we're not just building up a village we're building up the lore as we go so lots and lots of the gl uh, little glow flowers everywhere where lots of finches. I didn't expect to see tiny finches all over the place. Nice little bench to come sit down at. We might devince a bench later so it kind of fits in a bit better. Nice little waterfall. He built this really cool like archway and I realized that that was perfect. This is where I realized that we need to have a lot more canopies. Even though we're on a highland, we are probably going to put down a whole bunch of these sacred oak trees because I do have several of their saplings and it wouldn't hurt to put maybe even just like two, maybe three, kind of almost like they're the guards. In fact, we might do four all together. So one, two, three, four to kind of stand as the guard points for the village. What do you guys think about that? I think that would be a pretty good idea. And that'll also help us encourage this sense of like being surrounded by leaves, being enclosed. The village of light is, it's kind of got the, what is this? <laughs> you naughty, you think I wouldn't notice that? I got to keep on top of that, Benjamin. Sometimes he'll sneak things in there. I'm very glad I caught that. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, I took care of the fire jet, which is not part of the Village of Light, but it has that, that sense of seclusion is kind of what I'm going for, where you feel like you can kind of crawl into the shadows a little bit and feel tucked away and almost like wrapped up in a blanket of leafy safety that way. That sounds very much like me, but the Village of Light isn't one of the, oh, great. There's like some, we'll worry about that later, but the Village of Light is not meant to be a public uh, village. Everyone can come to it, but we have public villages on the server where everyone can come in and edit it and then we have private villages which are owned by the individuals uh who are in charge of that area and this is my private village this is oh, get back in there you little npc turtle he'll go back don't worry but this is my private village so it makes sense that i want to see things make and make it feel like you're wrapped in a secure leafy blanket that is totally that's totally me all right but yeah we'll light everywhere up we're gonna have moths show up that'll be really cool i definitely think a little kid's moth club would be awesome but enough rambling about the lore i'll show you guys just some of the details even though you saw them as you can see, you can come on into the house, a sacred oak wood for the doors. There's a little, uh, I've, even though we're built into a stump and into a hill, I really wanted to put windows everywhere I could because we're the village of light, but they're also small windows. So it's kind of like you have that sense of being tucked away even inside the house too. We're still experimenting with how to decorate the inside, but leaves are just, it, this is almost more like the tree has grown inside of the house too which i really like that sort of a feeling and effect and i love the effect of the leaves falling absolutely beautiful we have leaves kind of growing up the side those sort of living walls and the living roofs are definitely going to be a big feature of this village and i really love this when i made this interior i realized that it was really high and it was kind of weird as just one big room with a high ceiling especially because you want that tucked away feeling again in the village of light 
right. So that is why I built this little ladder and we have a loft. I've never really built something like this. And you guys, I love the effect. I really, really, really love the effect. So we have a little loft right up here. And then really because the houses are so, they're meant to be kind of thin and narrow. They're not meant to be uh, places where you would expect a lot of stairways because stairways take up a huge amount of space in Minecraft. So there will be stairs, but some of the houses will just be like ladders to get you from place to place. So this would be up here, almost like a little observatory up higher. And there's like a little closet, little like nook. We might have an altar of some kind that uh, they, they have from their temple. The temple of light is going to be made. So there might be little altars, like maybe they're flowers, maybe they're like little white flowers around an altar, maybe some sort of symbol that we'll end up making that will stand for the village of light and all of the lore that they have, or like the temple of light and the lore that it will have so we might put that like up here this could be the bedroom it's kind of like an observatory where you can come up top and sort of just look from all directions i really like that feel and then you can come out and then a multi-storied balcony so i really like how this house has multiple levels so even though it really is very small it's not a very big house it feels like it's got so much space in it because it has like the loft it has these little nooks and crannies where you can kind of get tucked away i could even build a basement a root cellar would definitely be a very common feature for storage in all of the village of light buildings because there's plenty of room to go down we plan on building into the cliff side with like stone cafes we plan on going down 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 into the tunnels i imagine like mushroom farming may be a really big thing in the village of light because you've kind of got like that shady area of the forest and you've got moths and you've got lots and lots of leaves and it's probably a little bit damp so all of those things together like means that you're probably pretty good at growing different types of mushrooms so i could see like having little tunnels with mushrooms growing in it or other kinds of like ground vegetables would be really happy there they might even be very good at growing growing things underground because of their glow flowers helping things to grow even if they're not outside where the sun can reach them so that's that and then gardens and just making everything look like you can't really tell right away am i looking at like a garden or a forest or am i looking at someone's house that's kind of what the village of light is going to be sort of centered around so i'm rambling too much because i'm really getting into the lore building and it just kind of the architectural details that we'll be diving into with the village of light lots of trees and right now it kind of looks more nature and planty but don't worry we will make it look more like a village too once we have those npcs walking everywhere once we have little shops set up all over the place it's gonna feel really fun like a forest city place it's gonna be really cool i need to put more logs in the temple of light is probably going to go more or less we might move it back a little further like right here so it can be more or less in the center of the highlands area but i'm really looking forward to you guys so we are moving pretty soon or i'm moving not zoo crafting like i'm personally moving in real life pretty soon so i'm not sure how often we'll be able to get these speed bills done but Ben's been a hu huge, tremendous, amazing help in getting these done. And they do take us about three to four hours uh, to do, like from the planning stage and from the, the goofing around stage to the completion stage. But we're really proud of them when they're done. And we're really amazed that you guys actually don't mind our silly, goofy running around for these speed builds. The, they're not, they're totally casual. They're not meant to be taken as like professional speed builds. We're just having a good time. And we're really happy to share that good time with you guys. And I always have my ear to the ground for the comment section for all of the ideas that you guys might present and show off. So please don't hesitate. And remember, I do love things like details. I love details. Look, Ben added in some of the really beautiful pieces, the rock salt ore and the alabaster ore to kind of bring out the cherry blossoms at the back cave right there. Don't forget, we still have the details where everywhere in the Village of Light, you'll kind of find these little nooks and crannies where a well-meaning villager has gone out of their way to make like a little, a little tiny garden of glow flowers. So I really, I'm really looking forward to hearing not only build ideas but maybe lore ideas npc ideas character ideas that really add to the world and not pretty this is this is not bad not bad we've done a, quite a bit for just being like hmm two builds so hopefully we'll be able to start adding in more things more of the shops more of the little details in the npcs the street lamps we have planned more of the surprises we didn't even expect to build like the little gravestones inside of the lake and the little <laughs> the little turtle who gets to hang out inside of this pond we didn't expect this courtyard or the butterfly house right here they just kind of surprised us so i look forward to sharing some of those surprises in the future builds with you guys and like i said i have my ear to the ground in the comment section all the time
because even though these are super, super, super laid back and casual, you guys seem to like them and you have so many amazing ideas. So this is the root of it all, you guys. This is where it begins and where hopefully for years we'll be able to watch the Village of Light really grow and gain so much depth and richness in the characters and the stories and the quests and maybe even one day like the little role playing adventures we go on here. And I'm really looking forward to it. All right, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.